Welcome my friends, we're talking about removing the obstacles in this new builder's base and it sure takes a long time. Stick around, I got some very detailed stats on it. But my friends, because of the loot cap and I'm not gymming, you only get 90,000 gold and 90,000 elixir. Now I am in the 400 tr trophy range and I think that's a good range to be in because if you push too high, you'll encounter tougher bases and you don't wanna be too low and you know, maybe, anyways, I'm in this trophy. So 90,000 a day. So let me just go through the stats here for you. Now there are 12 total uh, trees out there that cost 10,000 of this special production per hour elixir we, we've got going for us right here. Now, this is again 12. So that's gonna be 120,000 total dark, I mean elixir from the 12 trees. And we have seven, 22 total of these small trees. Now those cost 2,000 a piece. And then we have eight of the large farm, the groves. Those are 20,000 a piece. Now that is just the trees. Now we have the trunks and the stumps and all that good stuff. So there are three trunks and I looked at this, it's the same layout per each base. There are three trunks and the tree stumps, there are eight tree stumps and then mushrooms, there are six. So if you add those up, that is going to be about 7,006, that will be 7,600 just for that. So for the total of all of the elixir, um, that cost to remove the obstacles for the um, is going to be 331,600 elixir to get rid of all of your obstacles, your trees and your mushrooms. Now, how many days is that? That is 3.68 days. Now, mind you, that's only if that's if you're using <clears throat> that's gonna, that's a lot of money. It costs a lot, and you only get 90,000 elixir per day. So how many days is that? That's 3.68 days. That's if you just use it straight on the trees, and of course you're not gonna do that. You gotta upgrade your troops and all that good stuff. So that is quite a bit. However, it's not over. If you add in the battle machine, which costs 90,000, and if you add in the gem mine, which costs 120,000, if you put that, that's 541,600 elixir to remove all that. That will take you over 6.02 days to get the job done. At this current level, if you're in the 400 tr trophy range and you're getting 90,000 per day, again, of the three attacks, the 90,000 comes from this loot bonus right here. I added it up. That's what it is. Of course, if you're higher up and you have the troops, you can get more. Some are gonna be lower, but I'm gonna stick with this one, okay? That is a lot of time. Six days for clearing this, and you have only one builder. So imagine, um, you, you know, if you're not gymming anything and your builder's doing other stuff, you can't remove trees when you have the elixir or things like that. So it's technically, it's gonna take more than six days. That's just six days straight of only doing it. Now let's get to the gold, shall we? Now it's pretty cool stuff. There are 19 total stones out there. Now stones are these structures here. Now each of those stones costs 500. However, you do have two stones, and they're up here that cost 10,000 gold, and then you have the big stone right in the middle, 20,000. I have removed a couple of them, but that's the total number of them. So it's 49,500 gold to remove all those stones. Now that's not too much, that's just one loot bonus or half of one. However, if you end up moving the old barbarian statue, which costs 200,000, so that's a total of 249,500 gold to remove all the, the, the stones there uh, possible, that will take you four point, well, yes, that will take you 2.78 days to remove all the stones um, from the game, 2.78 days. However, if you add in the the clock tower, which costs 150,000 gold, what is that gonna give you? That's gonna be a total of 399,500 uh, gold to get rid of it. So what is that gonna cost you per day? That's gonna be 4.44 days. So imagine, um, you know, you're spending 10 days right there. Uh, well, if you do them, I mean, you can't do them all at once. That's the thing. But if you did it all at once, it's going to take you, you know, you saved up all your gold and everything like that. It'll take you 4.44 days for the gold, all the gold usage, and it'll give you um, 6.02 days. However, you can't unlock, let's see, 
Um, you can unlock this, can't you? Okay, no. Build a hall level four. So I have to get to level four before I even get to the clock tower. Um, and I think over here, you have to get to level five before you can get to the battle machine. So, of course, that will take you, um, you know, when you're at level five, you're going to have more elixir in the bag, but you have more stuff to upgrade. So, theoretically, to remove every single obstacle without gymming. Again, this is not gymming. It's gonna take forever, months. It'll take you months. Um, I, I haven't, I have yet to calculate the detail how precise it is to upgrade to level five if you're not gymming. But I guarantee you, it's going to be. It's got to be months. It's got to be six months at least, right? I mean, calculate every single. Look at this. I mean, 40 minutes per, and you only have one builder. Look at that. Um, for each one of these, and then upgrading within here. Um, you got to upgrade that. Um, you got to upgrade everything in the uh, laboratory. All that time to get a max base. How am I? It, I don't know. I bet if y'all know the math, I haven't looked at the forums yet. I just tr decided to put all the effort into removing the obstacles. And boy, oh boy, just to remove the obstacles, it's going to take a long time. Um, it's going to take months. Um, it's, it, months upon months. Because the reason why you're not going to you're not going to use all your elixir and your gold. On, on on these um, things. And since the loot cap is uh, 90,000, at least at my level, and you don't want to push too high, now you can push higher the higher you get on the levels. But anyways, I just wanted to share that with you because you know what? I'm actually not going to remove this guy. This old barbarian, stat barbarian statue is going to stay put. So yes, without a doubt. Now, now let's just go back to more time thing. Here's an interesting thing. So it's gonna take 13 minutes of your life to clear the trees, just the trees. Uh, because these big groves cost take a minute long and then I add it up all the time. That's just the trees. Now I didn't do the time for the stones, but I'm sure it's very similar in statue. Let's see, it takes 10 seconds for the small stones, okay. I bet it takes a minute for that one. So we could do the math there. Again, it's gonna add a couple more minutes. That's just removing stones is gonna take that much of your time. I don't know if you've ever thought about that, but 13 minutes of your life will flitter away just clicking this remove all or remove the tree or what have you. It would be nice to have a remove all trees all at once. That would be cool. And of course, you have some tall grass that costs 50. I didn't add that into it, but you know, that's just an extra 50 there to get rid of that. Anyways, my friends, now, of course, you will get some uh, loot from the collectors, but it's not going to be substantial enough to really cut down on the time uh, because you can you'll have you can use that um, to, you know, build up your defenses, uh, build up your, uh, of course, your laboratory, things like that. But anyways, my friends, very cool stuff. So let's actually get while I have you on the line, while I have you with me, let's get an attack in and see how to take down bases. I'm just kind of Honestly, I don't really care what's going on in these bases. I am actually going to switch up what I find been, been working very well. I'm going to put uh, two giants here. Actually, I can do all giants and get the job done. Um, you know what? No, I'm going to do archers. Let's do archers and giants. And I bet you... Um, oh, yeah. We'll put that down. We'll put the archers down. And then... Um, that should get that all dandy. We'll put another archer down. Hopefully the cannon. We'll put uh we'll put oh too bad. It didn't go. It didn't go to the cannon. I don't even know if it can reach. Can that archer even reach? I don't think it can. I don't know. It's gonna be a cannon on giant. Who's gonna win? Now if the cannon doesn't sell, oh, the cannon's gonna win. I'm definitely not getting a three star here. Oh no, I'm not even gonna get a one. Oh, can it reach? Can it reach? Oh, it's gonna reach it. It's gonna oh it's <laughs> it is gonna reach it. Well, that was debacled. <laughs> Again, it's just fun. I don't, you know, honestly, it doesn't matter if I lose trophies. Um, and I still won. I got a star. <laughs> oh, I got a star. But I don't need the trophies. I really don't need those trophies. It's really not useful in the sense, um, since I haven't the offense and the upgraded defenses, I don't want to push too high. I really don't. Because if you push too high, Honestly, you're just gonna face harder bases, more upgraded bases. So you gotta be wary of how far you push up and find a sweet spot. I kinda like the four, I bet 500 cup range is fine too. You get a little more loot bonus, so it can cut the time back. Uh, but let's just go in one more time. Oh, finish training. Uh, sure, let's just finish training. And let's go in shallowy. Now, giants are pretty useful. And on this base, okay, they're gonna have to bang through a wall. And hmm, this is this is kind of tricky. Banging through the wall. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna help out. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go. Oh, you know what I could do? 
I think I can do this. Um, oh wait, I can do this. Oh no, that, no, no, I can't do that. I'm going to go, oh, I bet there's a Tesla. You know he's got a Tesla. Well, you know it, but I'm gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Uh-oh, uh-oh, popping, popping goes the weasel, but I got enough. Now, if there's a Tesla around here, yes, there is. So I'm not gonna get the three star, but that's okay. I'll at least get two stars. Hopefully the archers bang through the wall. I don't know how, well, how do archers path? Eventually they'll get through the wall, but they actually might just circle around the perimeter section instead of go through this wall over here. Yep, wow, they certainly don't like walls. So I'm not gonna get two stars. I'm not even close to getting two stars, so that was the wrong play. I was hoping, yeah, I guess you need um need to get those, uh, oh, that was ugly. Well, obviously, my learning curve here, no. I don't know, I, I it, it's just fun. Again, it doesn't really matter. I still get it, you know, at this low level, everyone's struggling, and look at that, my friends. We are going to upgrade something, so, you know, just for the sake of it, you know what we're gonna get? We're gonna get one of these trees. Uh, let's get this stunt, this trunk right here. We'll remove it one step closer to getting that four days away. But again, it costs quite a bit, my friends. And of course, you need defense. So I'm actually going to upgrade the laboratory uh, because that's going to be definitely worth my time um, without a doubt. And honestly, since there's only one builder, I'm not going to gym him up. And I'm it's pretty much my day is over. Now, the nice thing about the loot cap, and I will say one thing nice about it. It limits you to, um, you know, pretty much three attacks per day, or you could only spend about 10 minutes. You could spend 10 minutes on this game a day. Um, so if you don't want to spend a lot of time on the game, it does help. There's only one builder. You don't feel compelled to keep attacking and attacking. No, not one builder. That there is a loot cap. However, of course, it's going to take long. So you're trading off less time per day, but longer time over, um, you know, many, many months. Um, because of the loot cap, you can't upgrade so many things uh, things quick enough. Unless you gym it up, of course. I mean, you could spend a lot of money. But anyways, my friends, it's getting longer video today, but I appreciate it. And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please share it. Please subscribe. I thought it was pretty cool letting you know um, I had the yeah I had the thought and um, I executed right. I don't know. But anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. And as always, you have gone through Clashology School with your Clashologist. Halo overheads, Halo out.